the uh, RCA Victor RP190. This is the tone arm. This is the beginning of the tone arm. Now, as you can see, this thing is uh, a, a little skanky. Uh, man, is it bad. Well, we're going to see what we can do to clean it up. Uh, what I do to begin with is take it apart. This little screw down here, right in the middle of the uh, back here and there's a little access hole that holds the weight on the back of the arm. I take that off, take the screw out and if you just kind of walk the thing back and forth you can get that screw all the way out and then you can pull the weight out. It's usually glued also but it's it'll snap loose and come off. Now you can take the wiring out. Uh, this back little clip here, difficult. I use a very, very narrow bladed screwdriver. This is a Via, the German made, very tiny blade. And I get it underneath of one of the little claws here and pry up on it. If it breaks it off, eh, so it does. I pry it up almost to where it's, uh, almost where you're going to break it off. You try not to break it off and you pry on one side and it should come out. It may not. If it doesn't, what I do is I take the soldering iron and I melt a little groove into here, right into this little crossbar here, and then sink the wire down into there, and uh, that usually will work too. But what I'm going to, in the interest of this, I'm going to try to get this off this way. It's coming. So is Christmas, I know. It's got to come off. Well, I'll try the needle nose. It seems to be pretty loose now. Now, well, the other thing we can do, we can also pry up on one side of it. Now that it's loose, we can push the wire underneath without cutting the wire and push it out of here. Pry up a little bit on the edge here. And get, oh, there we go. And get it out that way. And this one, it'll slide underneath this one. Because this wire was cut when the arm, the arm had been taken off or left loose, and uh, it broke the wire off right at the uh, changer motor board. So I'm going to have to replace that anyway. All right, we got that out of here. Now what we're going to try to do is to clean this up a little bit. And I don't know if this is going to work. This is old, but it is dried tape residue from people gluing uh, uh, or t taping uh, nickels on top of the tone arms of the track. We're going to go ahead and put some uh, nice oven cleaner on this. Shield it from the camera. Nice. Mmm. Yum yum. And then let that kind of let it just kind of push it around with the uh, um, with a brush here. Hold it down with a my little pocket screwdriver. I don't want to touch this stuff because it's not really great for you. And look at this. Huh. Look at this. How cool is that? See how that cleans that up? It removes a decades old tape residue and uh, let it sit for a few minutes. It don't hurt the plastic, um, at least not this plastic. I have tried experimentally cleaning up turntables with, this, with the oven cleaner and the turntables are made of Bakelite. The tone arms are made of a styrene butyl uh, plastic blend. And uh, uh, the turntables will turn, uh, how do I explain it? They'll, they'll lose their shine. So I, I don't put the, the uh, oven cleaner on turntables. But for this, it works real nice. It is removed. And you can see, I mean, this is live. This is live time video, people. You can see how fast this stuff works. Once again, don't use the yellow. Um, can use the blue can I'm going to show you here use this stuff here easy off blue can fume free the yellow stuff is brutal As a matter of fact I'd be choking my brains out right now if I was using that stuff and there it is it's got all that old dead tape residue off here now <clears throat> not bad man that's gonna be real nice and now what I'm gonna do is uh Pause the tape. <clears throat> we're gonna uh, clean this. Uh, we're gonna put this in the sink to get the old, uh, all the uh, the oven cleaner residue and all that stuff off here. And there it is. It's clean as a whistle. 
Now, depending on how much uh, sunlight and uh, bright fluorescent light this arm was uh, exposed to, it'll be a little bit, uh, there'll be little areas where it may be colored a little differently. Nothing much you can do about that. There it is. It's all done. It's, it's great. All right, so there it is. That thing's going to be beautiful. So we're going to clean it off with water and we're going to come back later.